When the world is going mad and societies decay, and fortune seems to favour those who orchestrate dismay, the relics of our charity and shrines of worldly care are beggared like old faiths beneath modernity's bright glare. When those who have positions of responsibility eschew their obligations of accountability, the disaffected public embrace ennui and disdain and rally round proponents of the vicious and inane. When the lessons of the past are not recalled or understood, and the public are sold short of the ideals of citizenhood, the consequent amnesia can be toxic when combined with shabby living standards which for decades have declined. When the message is the medium and the truth is what is said, and facts misrepresented to ensure folk are misled, the mandate of democracy, its broadly shared accord, is hollowed out and bankrupted by agents of discord. And while the common touch is claimed by demagogues and frauds, and those whose sabre-rattling would beat ploughshares into swords, the milk of human kindness sours with each drop of gall, and shared regard is lost behind each nation's rising wall. And as all forms of government grow enfeebled and opaque, worsted by the fascists always waiting at the gate, the sentinel of conscience in each head should be awake, for somnolence and laissez-faire compound a darker fate.